Carlano is from the eastern straits of Roganmir, an island landscape where the women were considered to be the warrior class and the men were mild and bookish. Carlana knew there were other worlds where this was quite the opposite, and it was her intention to find them and teach them the true power of her humanity. Deep in the sewer pit of Z, three grand shame wizards learned the greatest tales of humiliation and shame. The Majestic Jehexic II, Bank Blanc, the Songsmith, Jehexic II's twin, the Big Papa. Together, the embarrassment magicians compiled these stories into a single tome which they buried deep in the sewer pits. Shudder and shame from. She ventured forth into the northern plains of Talum's Hook, where she had heard tales of a giant king who surveyed his servants with a keen eye for beauty. King Chantaji, the fiend. Carlana herself was considered one of the most beautiful in her clan. With her jet blue hair waving in the wind with every axe blow, milky skin doppled by the battle sun. Carlana considered herself and her body thoughtfully in the mirror as she dressed in the colorful scarves favored by the women folk of Talum's Hook. Chantaji, your time is nigh. She smirked in the mirror, now filling with smoke. As she double-wrapped her turgid shawl in a silky scarf embroidered in fine gold thread, the finest cruel Chantaji would ever know. The fire turned the mirror to sand. Arriving at the gates of Talum's Hook, she appraised the guards. Two large, dusky man-like creatures, a type unknown to her. The males of Roganmere were under eight kulags, and none had the shape of these two. Good men, I have returned from a carriage in the fields of Kovan La, and I be readmitted through our gates. The two guards looked at each other, taken aback by this tall beauty's explanation. Surely wouldn't she have just used the password Razor Owl if she truly were a Talon's Hook citizen? The squatter of the two chuckled and said, Resty woman, I'm afraid you've been caught prematurely. If your intention was to come here and steal our women away from Muckshire Rado's whorehouses, you will soon be disappointed. Undoing the rope belt that held up his hemp trouserlings. You'll find no such creatures at these gates, only snakes and a lone spider. The trouserlings fell to the floor and his brother in arms tugged at himself and grinned, tusks glistening. Carlana had seen much battle in her life, but none had looked so raw as what was beneath those woven garments. The two guards advanced on her as she backed away in equal measures of fear and anticipation, and her own viper sprung to life. What in the name of Lord Z is that? My key to the gates of Talon's Hook. Shall it fit with ease? The advancing guard dropped to his knees and stared at the ever gorging scarf covered <laughs> inches from his face, while the other readied his spear. Witch, hag, I'll have your key and see it fit through your own ears. Have at you. In one fluid motion, Carlana unsheathed herself and drew her axe, and the smoke began to rise. The key is yours. In the tangle of confusion, the bodies and weapons seemed to come together. Air intertwined with blood and iron, bodies and pubis were nothing more than wounds and daggers. By the end, the two guards lay on the plains of Talum's Hook. Expressions like Koban La Euphorics and bodies like so many who had stood against the women of Roganmir. Their deaths were transcendent and through it they had learned much. Carlana would see them again in the embers during her next battle.